Hello and welcome to part 79 of Persona 4. This takes place after defeating Mitsuo in the last part. So let's get on to that. Uh. Finally awake, huh? You've been a major pain in our ass. What the... You guys... Who the hell are you guys? The police are after you. They think you're the one who killed King Moron and the other two. So, are you the killer? All the cases... All on me. <laughs> That's right! I did it! You piece of shit! And not just that bastard Moraoka! That stupid announcer! And the Konishi bitch, too! I killed all of them! It was all me! Where'd it go? What's going on? <laughs> it's gone. That frickin' monster disappeared. Take that, son of a bitch! He's exhausted. We need to hurry and get him out of here. Where am I? Why am I here? What the hell are you guys? S stop it! Why did the TV... <sighs> hey! You seem confused from everything that happened, but we have a bunch of questions for you. First off, why did you do all this? Answer in ten words or less! <laughs> what the hell? Is that a costume? <laughs> what a loser. Get out of my face, you freak. The freak?! Gah! Hold it, Teddy. You're not helping. Get off my back. I already told you. I did it. Why? How could you do such a thing? Three people are dead because of you. talking about it, right? It's a huge deal, and I did it. All of it. 
all by myself. You just wanted the attention? Then why did you target me and the others? How did you kidnap us? Look who it is. <laughs> hey, Yuki. After all this time, now you want to talk to me? <laughs> what bullshit. Answer me! If you held a grudge against me, that's fine. But why the others? <laughs> What a joke. You're so desperate it hurts. I didn't care who I attacked. Everyone pisses me off. You what? You gotta be kidding me. You killed Senpai over nothing? You son of a bitch! I hope you're ready to get what's coming to you. <laughs> what, are you gonna kill me? Kanji-kun! Kill you? It ain't gonna be that easy, you piece of shit. What you did can never be taken back. No, you're gonna own up to your crimes and pay for what you did. You ain't gonna be allowed to kick the bucket until you understand exactly what it is you've done. <sighs> Why, damn it! Why does she have to die because of this bastard?! <sighs> Dude, the cops. What are you waiting for? Call the damn police! Yeah, you're right. Yosuke! She son seemed happy. Well, I guess this means our work is done. He did it all to draw attention. I, I can't get my head around that. It's just wrong. would have been okay if he'd had a better reason. I know. Don't worry. It's finally over. Let's leave the rest to the police. My world will be peaceful again now. Yeah, I'm happy for you. We really went through a lot. Like scoring with guys. Oh, come on! Will you ever let it go? What? Scoring with guys? 
Y you don't need to know the details. I'm sure you'd like us to forget the sauna incident, too. Right, Kanji-kun? Uh... W well That's not fair. I wanted to see everyone else's, too. That's right. We three are the only ones who saw everyone's secret. Hey, so what was Yosuke's like? Come on, it's about time you told us. Come on, let's leave it at that. Speaking of which, nothing really happened in your case, huh? Really? Wait, really? Is there something special about Senpai after all? Sensei is the man! Now that the case is solved, we won't be calling you leader anymore, will we? Oh yeah, and it's kind of sad. Hey, why don't we have a celebration? We always have a rap party after we're done shooting. It's fun and it'll help give us some closure. That sounds great! Let's go all out! Oh, oh! I want to go to Yuki-chan's house! Gorgeous dinner, hot springs, table tennis, yukata, geisha, Fujiyama, full of witness! You're right. Yukiko-senpai's family runs a hot springs inn. That spring that Yukiko Senpai baits into? Hey, keep it to yourself. You're sounding like a creep. Well, it sounds like fun, but I don't think it's possible today. Yeah, it's summer vacation. All the rooms must be occupied. We can't do a sleepover. Maybe next time. I promise. Hey, why don't we hit your place instead? Oh, but will your uncle get suspicious? Like, why are you all celebrating? He might not come home tonight. Nanako-chan might be getting hungry. Hey, then why don't we make dinner together? Wow, are you good at cooking, senpai? Well, sort of. What are you saying? Did you already forget the tragedy of the school camp out? We already told you that was an accident. She's right. We just got a couple of the ingredients wrong. Do this. I'm begging you. I don't need another trauma to deal with. Hey, I'm a good cook too. I'll make something for you, senpai. ta 
Ta-da! Teddy has a great idea! Let's have a cooking battle. The winner will be crowned Iron Cook Inaba! A cooking battle? Now I'm even more worried. Sure, that sounds like fun. Aw, but I'll win hands down. You sure you want to make it that easy? Dude, listen to me. For the sake of our stomachs, you have to cook something too. Help us, partner. You're our only hope. Then you can represent the guys' team. Nanako-chan will be our judge. I can be a taster too. Teddy can be a tester too. At the end, you're supposed to say, that was delicious, right? Downstairs. Charge! Uh oh, that's not good. Cooking and Chie and Yukiko happen to be in the same sentence, and now Risei's added in the mix. Well, we'll continue on the cutscene in the next part, but let's be honest, Nanako doesn't deserve to have to taste such awful food. If Mystery Food X is anything to go by, I'll see you guys next time.